In this video, we'll show you how to add and customize a call to action widget on your WordPress website using the responsive Elementor add-ons. First, let me show you what the call to action widget looks like. The call to action widget is an interactive tool for creating beautiful boxes that combine an image, specific text, and a button. Before getting started, you need to make sure that you have the responsive Elementor add-ons plugin installed on your website. Check out the link in the description below to learn how to install it. So, let's get started. Open a page or a post and click on Edit with Elementor and it will take you to this screen. On the left widget panel, scroll down and look for responsive Elementor add-ons. Now, look for the RE a call to action widget. You can also type RE a call to action in the search bar on top to locate the widget. Now, click and drag the widget to the content area. This is how it will look by default. Let's see how to customize this call to action widget. Under Edit our EA call to action, you will see three tabs. Under Content, in the Image tab, you can choose either the classic skin or the cover skin. Then you can choose an image and set the image size. In the Content tab, you can choose the graphic element as an image or icon. Then you can choose the title and description for your call to action widget and set the title HTML tag. You can also enter the button text and add a link to the button. In the ribbon tab, you can enter the text to be displayed on the ribbon and select the ribbon position. Now, let's move on to the style settings. In the box tab, you can choose a background color for the entire box. Set the minimum height and align the box. You can also align the content of the box to the top, center, or bottom and set its padding. In the content tab, you can set the typography options and spacing for the title and the description. Here, you can also choose the title, description, and button colors in normal and hover states. In the button tab, you can select the button size and typography options. Then, you can select the text, background, and border colors of the button. You can also set the button's border width and border radius. Under the ribbon tab, choose the color for the ribbon's background and text. You can also set the distance for the ribbon and set the typography options and box shadow for the ribbon. In the hover effects tab, you can choose the hover animation and duration for the content and select if the animation appears sequenced or all at once. You can also choose the background hover animation in this tab. Then, you can choose the overlay color, add CSS filters, and set a blend mode for the background in normal and hover states. Now, let's move on to the advanced tab. Here, you can adjust the padding and margin of the block and set CSS classes. You can also add motion effects to the call to action widget, set the background color, and customize the borders of the widget. You may also choose a mask for your call to action widget and adjust its positioning. Once you're done with the settings, click on update. And there you go. You have a customized REA call to action widget on your WordPress website. For more such tutorials about responsive Elementor add-ons and WordPress, Subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you in the next video.